Alright, what's up guys? So, Crime Cam now has uploaded a video titled Transgender Woman Arrested for Fraudulent Check and Bank Altercation. It's like, fam, you can't go off over the bank and try to fraud them. I, I feel like that with banks, you know, maybe if this would have been like the 1920s or something where it, it, you know, possibly was easy to get away with stuff like that, then okay, yeah, cool. But if we're talking on like 2023 or whenever. Oh, so this was done um last year. But still, it wasn't like a whole lot has changed from last year to this year. So I feel like a lot of the stuff that's going on um this year was going on last year. It wasn't. I don't feel like a lot has changed. But yeah, you should know that it's like you you can't do no scams with no banks. Maybe if it's like a lesser. Well, even then, I feel like that even a lesser known bank like they're they're gonna know that it's like okay there's gonna probably be people out there trying to take advantage of us so yeah let's you know think of every possible way of somebody trying to do some fraud with us and yeah you know so when that day does come then yeah you know we're uh we're prepared and things so but i guess some people you know they they don't they don't think like how i think because i'm like me with me i'm like okay there's jobs out there i know i can make money my limbs and my body and everything seems to be perfectly working fine and stuff. So, I'm yeah, I'm, I'm going to go out there and make money and stuff. So, I don't know. But anyways, let's go ahead check out this video. Make sure if you guys haven't, go subscribe to Crime Cam now for more videos like this. And then that being said. On June 27th, 2022, Chambly police officers responded to a call at Truist Bank in Atlanta, Georgia. The report indicated a female individual attempting to cash a fraudulent check and allegedly assaulting a bank employee during the process. Upon arriving at the scene, officers found the woman, accompanied by her mother, inside the bank. She firmly denied any wrongdoing, asserting that she had not touched the bank employee in question and was trying to leave when intercepted by they the got officer. got cameras. It's like, yeah, your story thrown out the window. No, it was not. I ain't touched that man. I did not touch that man. What's going on? He's he talking, he talking about I touched him, talking about my check is fraudulent and all that stuff like that. My check is not fraudulent. I ain't touch him. Hold on, don't Come on, mama, yeah, but it's all like, don't, don't, don't. Why, why would the bank, my thing is, is this. Why would the bank say that it is? And it's like, I, I feel that they will know the difference between a real check and a fraudulent check. I, I don't know. I'm just saying. Like, I, me, my thing is, is this. It ain't no different than, like, if somebody goes into a sneaker store, and then you'll see, like, the real sneaker than the fake sneaker. It's like, yeah, to you, that might be real. But to us, an expert, that's fake. That's a fraud. That ain't real. So, I'm sorry. But anyways. No, no, no. Stay, stay right here now. Right. Tell me what, tell me what happened. Hi, I'm the, my name is Sarah. I'm the branch manager here. Okay. Um, basically what happened, the check, we confirmed it's not a good check. Okay. We had to retain the check. She came in. How, how is the check a she, bad stop, check? Stop, stop, she stop. She came in yelling and screaming. My uh, FSS, their financial firm specialist, tried to de-escalate the situation and let her know what's happening. She grabbed him. I did not. I did we not have, grab him. We, we have it on video camera and everything. I did not grab him, sir. So I what do you say about camera footage? Like <laughs> right now you mean to turn around to put your hands behind your back. The officer detained the woman for further investigation. Throughout this process, she continuously asserted that the check was genuine and couldn't comprehend why the bank refused to cash it. At least she ain't putting up no fight. It's okay, I'm gonna investigate it, but for, but for right now. I got being all that stuff like that. Like I'm I'm really like for real. I'm gonna investigate. What? And if but right now you are being detained. So if I think I've got one detained. Hold on, let me let me see that. This I need to see. I'll need to I'll need the ID also. And I'm like, my, my thing is, is like, I'd be embarrassed if I'm, you know, because I, I don't know whether the mom knows or not, but I'm like, me personally, if the mom don't know and I'm up there doing some stuff, I'd be embarrassed because I'm like, you know, I wouldn't want my parent to see that from me. So, but I wouldn't put my parent and myself in no situation like that. So that's what I'm saying. I'm like, yeah, it's just, you know, my, my, my mom, dad, whoever, they ain't got to worry about me doing no stuff like this. So either I'm making money or I'm not. Brent, Brent is your last name. Like, for real though, like, really? Um, 
Yeah, when someone makes an allegation that there's been an assault and a bad check has been to be cashed, I'm gonna investigate. How is it a bad but check? Right now, like I, right work, now to keep, I work for that. Right now to keep everything from getting worse, you being detained. I'll put you in the car. I'm gonna investigate thoroughly. I work for and, that. And once I and once I find out, and if I find out that, there's, that you haven't committed a crime, I'll, I, I'll release you from the handcuffs. I haven't released. But, I haven't. But for right now, you're being detained. I did not do nothing to him like that. Might hang it with her in the car while I look at their camera footage. Appreciate it. And that would be my, like, you know, if I'm like, okay, if the check is real, then I'm like, okay, where did you get this check from? Because I'm like, oh, like, okay, so let's say she says she got the check from Foot Locker. I'm like, okay, point me in the direction of that Foot Locker. I'm going to ask them, are, um, are you an employee um, at this Foot Locker? I'm going to ask them, did they give you this check? If they say yes, then I'm like, okay. I'm like, did this check get cash and the money get withdrawn from your account? I'm like, because if, there, if there's already like an invoice or something showing that like uh, that the money was already drawn and then she's trying to get another, you know, check from it. And I'm like, yeah, that's not, again, fraud. And then let's say if it's on some stuff where she's um, self-employed, like she got like an eyelash company or a, a hair salon, you know, in her her apartment of some sort, her apartment, house, whatever. But anyways, yeah, let's overall say that that is the case and i'm like okay then i'm like point me in the direction of the people that had you know overall like paid you for this uh service and things and i'm like okay if they paid you for this service i'm like fam you got nothing to because i got nothing but time all right if i'm doing an investigation i'm gonna do an investigation so i'm like i ain't got nothing but time all right but yeah it's like if you can't prove none of that stuff then it's like okay i'm going to assume that this check ain't real and yeah, overall, it's like it's it's just gonna be a situation. I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong on what I'm doing. Maybe there might be some mistakes that I make. But overall, though, I'm like, if the bank is telling you that it's not real, then most likely it's not real. And if you didn't go in there with no attitude or nothing, then it's like, okay, my thing is, it's like this is just a shady bank. But and yeah, go I don't know, find another bank to you know put your money in and things. But anyways. <clears throat> I'm like, bro. I'm like them police cars. I'm like, man, y'all need, y'all need like an air unit everywhere. <laughs> I'm like, I feel like that's just everybody's request as soon as they get into a police car. I'm like, fam, it's either are they like what they they just get nervous and their body temperature starts rising, or it's like, what's what's up with these police cars, man? Like, I don't, I didn't do anything wrong. Okay. It's just a simple fact. Well, I told, uh, well, I, I was told. pissed off because of the simple fact they were really like trying to say that my check is fraudulent, and I work for that. Okay, well, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at I'm gonna take a look at the cameras. Cause they, I didn't hit him or anything. Well, I'm going to take a look at the cameras. If you made intentional contact with him, that's against the law. We both was holding each other. Like, we both was holding each other. Okay, well, I'm going to look, look at what the camera shows, and I'm going to make my decision from there. But keep this situation from getting any worse. Hey, that is why you're being detained right now. Can you please help me? Like, I don't want to let you know. I'll, I'll come to court, whatever I need to do. We'll, we'll, we'll cross that bridge in a second. I haven't made that decision yet. Meanwhile, her mother explained that her daughter is a transgender woman who had traveled from South Carolina, where she is employed by the Hyatt Corporation, to cash the check. Yeah, okay, what, what's, first, first of all, tell me what happened. What happened? All I know, he was working at a place in South Carolina. So when he come home, I picked him up at the bus station. He come to cash the check. And he gonna do some work while he ain't gonna go back. When I got here, they were saying, he waited so long, they were saying that this check was a scam. Mm -hmm. So he went on the inside to see what was going on. And he told him that the check was a scam. And then he grabbed one of the workers. Who grabbed one of the workers? 
Whatever. It's, it's my son was born as a he, but I can't get, I'm confused with, he want to be a trans, trans man, you know how that is. Okay. So he, what he got on so you could tell you could tell the mom is old fashioned. That's one thing about like with parents. It's like they don't they try to understand, but at the same time, it's like you know they they just they again old fashioned parents. Real grab the one that guy the workers in there. Okay. And try to make him get his check back, and he told me he can't release the check because it was fraud. Oh. Now I'm trying to find out this company that he's supposed to be working for. And, and I'm gonna call and see what's going on. Yeah, look the company up. All right. I'm so like, that don't make no sense. Can. Well, I got it. I, I saw it. I'm still gathering the facts. I'm, I'm gonna make sure I treat Bria. Can I talk to him? In a second, not right okay. now. I'm gonna make sure I treat. I'm, I'm gonna treat everybody fair on this. I know that. I'm gonna, gonna look. I'm gonna to. look at the cameras. I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna just listen to one person over the other. But based on what it was told to me, that's why Bria's detained right now. Yeah, she said, um, she, she saw, she saw, um, she said he put, grabbed, grabbed a hold of the employee. Oh, okay. no. I'm going to look at the camera. I'm going to look at the cameras. All right. Now, you mind pull out a statement for him? For me? The detective on the scene reviewed the bank's surveillance footage, ultimately confirming the woman's physical altercation with the bank employee. Sight. Oh, anybody at any establishment. I feel like the one person you don't want to put hands on is a bank worker. I fam, that that's just I, I feel like that's, you know, like bank workers, police officers. I'm trying to think of some other like jobs where it's like you do not want to put hands on that person and things. Yeah, I, I feel like those are the two I'm thinking of right now. But I, there, I know there's probably more out there, but it's like, yeah, fam, you, you messed up on that one. Oh. Did anybody I, else witness this? I got too many car key cases um, at the moment. It was just us in here, like, someone oh, oh, wanted it to oh, oh, place oh, for oh, you. Okay. <laughs> so, um, pretty much, <laughs> no, my manager just wanted to handle the transaction because they wanted to come in training me. Um, when she let her go in the drive through that the checks were fraud, she was going to retain it because that's part of policy. Um, she in turn said that she was going to come in. That's why the car's parked like that. I was going to come. I came here to lock this door. Mm -hmm. I was going to go lock that door. She had already made it in. She mm -hmm. came in to exchange words with my manager, saying, you know, hey, give me my check. Give me my check. She was being irate. And then, you know, as I'm standing here, um, and I was like, man, well, unfortunately, you know, my manager did her work on it. We can't get back the check. Um, that's when she in turn walks up on me and wants to, you know, grab my Grabbed you by the tie? Yeah, she grabbed my tie. That's why I had to take it off. Okay. She, she held on to it for a while, so she grabbed it, but I had to, I had to let her know, please let, let me know. I had to, like, de-escalate. Okay. The situation. Yes. Okay, let me, uh. Wow. Y'all said y'all have it on video? He had some video. Yeah, um, he he I sent it to her. I mean, to his rock in those three videos. Okay. You got the video? Yes. That, that's some of us because I was going to notice I don't know. So, um, yeah, she, she, she grabbed him. Um, just fill him out. I'm about to wait for her. She, um, What's that? <laughs> she grabbed him by the tie okay. and then kept trying to swing on him. Okay, so that's simple. I was like, man, I'm like, man, I'm not no cartoon character. I'm like, unhand my tie. I'm like, what kind of foolery is this? No, nah, that's crazy to grab somebody by their tie and you try to, like, swing them. No, nah, that is crazy. Um, the fraudulent check should. That's it? This stuff. That's the, um, we have a copy of it, that's the part, top part of the check. Yeah. Can you get, a, get you us get the copy? Okay. You can charge, charge uh, forgery on that one? Yeah. Forgery third degree, right, because it's over 1500. Yes. Hmm. Is this her name? The license says Brent, but name change and... Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, can you just make us a copy of that? Make a copy of that. Thank you. How did y'all determine it was from one? Um, put the things in the system that we looked at and collected. Um, there's other checks we can't get in cash. The money doesn't match the system. It's like 82 percent. 
Yeah, it's like, I imagine they got, like, something to scan and overall see, like, if the check is real or not. And I'm like, like I said, it ain't no different with sneakers. I'm like, they got, like, they have, like, a whole setup, like, I guess to explain to people, for those that did not know that there are, like, fake sneakers. So, for an example, um, so, yeah, with these, like, with these shoes, for an example. So, they'll, it'll be something like the, sti the stitching would be off, this color would be off. Um, what, oh, there's, like, some, like, dirt, like, I don't know if that's a sticker or what at the, I think that's a sticker, but anyways, um, the Air Jordan, um, logo will be kind of off and things, but, yeah, it'll be, like, small details like that, but they'll make it look just like the real thing, but I'm like, it's not, though, so, yeah, it, it's just, it's something where I'm like, people have to understand that it's like, if you're gonna go into a place, that's like if she had a business of her own where, like, a product is being given back and forth and things, and somebody tries coming in there with a fake product, you're gonna point that stuff out. You're gonna realize, you ain't gonna be all like, oh, well, I guess I won't say anything because, you know, they're they're trying to do a business transaction or whatever. No, bro, you're gonna call somebody out on that stuff, so, anyways... I've got her. I've got hers. Oh, Looks like uh, Willoughby's getting a statement from mom. His mom said the same thing that she grabbed. The, he grabbed him. Mom's doing the best. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dang, Joe, of all love. I was like, I thought that was parking for a second. I was like, hey, it ain't no parking there. That's what a, a doctor reports. That's crazy. I'll let her talk to you in a second. All right, so you go by Bria, not Brett, right? Correct. Okay. Everybody knows me. When you type my social security number in the system, it pop, it pops up real. Everybody knows me. Okay. All right, this is what's happening. All right. We have it on video that you grabbed him by the tie and tried to swing on him. I did not swing him. I did not swing Okay, either him. way, you grabbed him by the tie. All right. I didn't try to swing That's that simple battery. All right, you... Um, you attempted a cash a fraudulent check that, that was Sir, in I excess did. of fifteen hundred dollars. That's four trillion to thirty three. I work for that. Okay, it's 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 a confirmed fraudulent check. I work for that. My thing is is like, cause I guess how I would handle a situation like this. So like, let's say like you know the company that she worked for did give her a fake check. I'm not going to be taking my anger out on the bank because I'm like the bank people ain't did nothing to me. I'm going to be traveling where they say it's, um, it's, she's from South Carolina. I'm going back to South Carolina, and I'm like, fam, why are you guys giving me uh, fake checks? No, you guys need to, I'm going to get arrested at this company. I'm not going to get arrested at no bank. Yeah, I'm going to grab people by the tie and start swinging on them at that company if they out here giving out fraud checks. I know I shouldn't admit to that, but I'm saying you're taking your anger out on the wrong people. The bank people, it's like, they're just, my thing is, is this. They ain't got nothing to do with, like, giving you the check. But at the same time, it's like to prevent you from going to other places and trying to, because, like, okay, because the thing is, I think that's, you know, the main reason reason why they didn't give her the check back is because she most likely would have went to another bank and then tried like scamming them and stuff and getting 1500 or whatever the amount is so anyway i'm letting you know what's going on can you let my mom speak with me like you can't let them do this to me like i work for that i work for that suspecting a potential discrepancy regarding her identification the detective decided to investigate further he's charging with uh simple battery yeah let's look into that okay because the mom says she does work at a resort okay and i'm wondering mm -hmm. if they said it because the name is different because of okay. them being transgender or what okay. mm. and then i'll let you know um if you can go ahead and get the warrant afterwards all right all right, all right. 
<laughs> I mean, you you can if you want. <laughs> hmm. Okay, that's our that's our detective. They're, they're gonna look they're gonna look into the uh, they're gonna look into the check more just to see. Yeah, what I work for that, sir. Can you let my mom speak with me, please? Sure, in, in just a second. I work for that check. I'm not nope. fraudulent. Listen, listen, we're not charging you with that yet. The only thing you're being charged right now with is a simple battery on the employee. I didn't swing on him. I didn't you get, hit him. You touched him. That's the problem. You, you grab, grabbing him by the by the, the tie in an insulting, provoking manner is a, like a simple battery. Okay, so but can it's you a, write me a ticket and let me come to court, please? No, that's a it's a it's a misdemeanor. It's like, ma'am, do you not know how like yeah, laws and stuff work? There's you like know. different levels to it. Would you go beyond a certain level? Forget tickets. No, nah, you going to jail behind yeah, that. Please. Yeah, well. Second. That's crazy. You can tell her. Sure. Yeah. You can come talk to her. Uh, no, we're gonna talk, talk to the window. She's over here at this window. Mom, are you gonna come and get me? Like, what is it? Why did they let them do this to me? The, I, I have been to do with that, Brent. I told you, turn that man loose. Can you can they please help me? Like, I didn't. There's thing on fraudulent and stuff, and I work for that. We're not, check, charge, Mom, we're not charging her with that yet. I have a job. The only thing I we're charging her that. right now is the simple battery on the employee. Simple better on the employee. I didn't hit him. That's a misdemeanor. I did not hit him. You grabbed his tie, Brent. You greased at him, but we were holding him. The head on camera now, baby. Mama, please don't let them do this to me. Like, what do I need to do? Ain't nothing I can do, baby. I just had to come over there and see. Are you going to come and get me? I fact, he said in DeKalb. Yeah, he's going to DeKalb County. Once, uh, once the booking process is completed, the judge will set a bond. And, um, That's one thing I just, I don't know. I, I couldn't do that to my parents i mean like at the end of the day if they help they help if they don't they don't i don't want to put if i go out and i do some stuff that's not on my parents i'm sorry but i i just think that i'm at a point in time yeah maybe if i was younger maybe if i was like you know 19 early 20s and things i'm been like i'm pushing 30 i'm like bruh if i go out and i'm dumb enough to grab people by their ties or do any other crazy crimes i'm like yeah bro i'm like i you know that's just something where i'm all like i gotta deal with that on my own i i can you know look to my parents because yeah it's like my parents they got their own lives to be worried about i'm all like i can't be looking to them and being like oh can you bail me out of jail because i i want to go out in areas and start fights and stuff i'm like bro that no I just find it crazy though where it's like when people when they do things like that where it's like they they obviously you know are in the wrong and stuff but yet they go and they be wanting to like contact a parent and it's all like fam what can your parent do it's like you shouldn't be out here doing some crazy stuff so anyways my check is not fraudulent can y'all just give her the money like my check is not that's not what we're charging you with right now I told you our detective's gonna investigate that further just see what the what the mix up was with that it might even just be something to do with your name, since you're, since you're... They don't have anything to do with it. I've never had this problem before. Everybody knows me. Okay, Everybody hold on, knows hold on. Me. license says Brent. I'm like, honestly, that bank don't know you. I don't know you. You do know me. Everybody know me. Y'all know my whole family. I don't know anything about you. I've never met you oh before. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, so that's what's happening with this. Uh, we're, we're still investigating that for, that further. Just just see what the, that issue with what that is um so i'm not gonna I, I really I, there's not oh, much where, I is the, where is the uh jailhouse located it's uh the cab county jail um I'm can you give me an address sure. yes like this don't make any sense like you got a call or yeah, something. yeah. Mm -hmm. they just should have just cashed the check and gave me my money i'm not fraudulent i don't know where they come up with from <laughs> Look at a result. He said result. So they know it. that. They know that, Mama. It's just they just trying know. to do this to me. They're trying to take me down. I like, ask you why you come way over here anyway. I don't know about this way. Look, look, look here. I'm not fraudulent. Look, we're not charging you with fraud, right? I'm gonna look into it. But we charging you with the battery because 
you attack that man. Okay? I did not hit him. They got, they got video But shot. you grabbed him. My thing is, is this. What would you do as somebody? That, that's just my question. That's my question, of the, you know, for the video and stuff. What would you do, all right, if you got into it with somebody and they grabbing you, like, by your uh, neck like this, or if they grabbing you by your tie? They're grabbing some piece of clothing. I don't care if it's a little earring, all right? But they're grabbing you, okay? They got a firm grip on whatever piece of clothing that you're wearing, all right? My thing is, is this. For one, I have a right to defend myself. Second, fam, you can't just be out there grabbing on people. Well, what, what, I wonder what she would do in a situation where it's like, let's say it's the roles reverse, where uh, she then, you know, some, like somebody come through her business wanting something. She's like, fam, I can't provide that for you. And they grab her by her shirt. And they're like, no, you're going to do this thing. You're going to go off on that person. So it's like, that's just something that you don't do. Just because you didn't swing on them, that don't mean like, oh, they got to let you go. You can't just be on grabbing on people, especially bank workers. That, that's just a no, bro. You can't do that. I didn't hit him, right? I grabbed his tire, but I did not hit him. Even grabbing his tire is a battery. I'll own up to that. Right. I'll own up to that. Uh, but okay, so it's yeah, like... Yeah, that's for, uh, stands, for the, for the cash um, cash I got to look into that because four, four, one, one, their explanation... Wait, I'm sorry. Sorry. I have the cab cam jet. Actually, I'm sorry. Let me, let me, let me double check on that one. I work for that chain. Okay. I think that's something though that uh more so with transgender people. Transgender people or people with like name changes, it's like you have to understand that everybody is not going to know you by your like new name and stuff so like that's something that you have to uh explain to the bank and things where it's like it's on some stuff where you go in there um if i go in there do you know talking about my name is um sunflower uh J jackson uh, freaking whatever all right my sunflower jackson all right if i yeah if i go into the bank talking about my name is sunflower jackson for for one i'm gonna probably be getting some looks but second i'm like yeah that's the name that i know but obviously my birth name i'm like oh birth name t moss boss <laughs> not my birth name but still i it's just you know the name that people like it's on my id it's on my birth certificate that name that's the name that's you know that they gonna put in your yearbook or put in your id birth certificate wherever you know so i'm saying it's like you got you gotta go by your yearbook name people don't <laughs> don't go by whatever name that you like yeah that you obviously put on some documents and it's like it, it's a name that just got created a couple of days ago it's like you have to explain that to people so there ain't no confusion and then you ain't going into banks and then they thinking you trying to scam them and stuff so what you want to do? What you want them to do? Uh, they're going to have to take you and cook it. They got you on camera on film and it explains everything. And I come over there and see about you. He said give about an hour or two, right? Uh, oh, give, I... give or take, yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll That's, take... That, it's like 44.15. I broke down the wrong number. We'll go over there. Okay. Yeah. I got your purse and stuff. Thank you, Mama. The officer advised her to update her identification to avoid such yeah. issues in the future. However, the situation took an unexpected turn when she began to make unrelated and nonsensical statements, denying HIV, AIDS, and suggesting a conspiracy against her. What happened? I, I just need to just wait on my, on, on, uh, um, text it to me. Maybe, 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 oh, I mean, I, to the... should be coming down, down quick. What's going on? Uh, you're being charged with simple battery, that's all, that's all that's happening right now. I just need the, uh, just need my paperwork done before we before we get moving and i'm like all oh, this could have been eliminated where it's all like if you go in there and you're saying like oh this is my new name or whatever and then they're all like okay well there's this different name and it's like you can't just ignore the fact that at one point in time that was your name i just me personally i feel like if i were to be in a situation like her where it's all you know transgender or if i'm switching my name around then it's like oh okay then yeah you know oh yeah that was my 
old previous name. I haven't went to the, you know, DMV or wherever to get it updated and things. So, uh, yeah, but, like, and then I just think even with that, too, it's like you still should carry your old ID so it can show the, like, hey, yeah, I went through a transition. And, uh, yeah, that was my old name. This is my new name. So on and so on. So it's like you're not in no situation where it's like, yeah, they think that you're trying to run some scam on them. So. What I need to, what I need to do in this situation? Do I need to give me a lawyer? That's up to you. Like I'm saying, no, I'm just saying in this whole situation that's going on. That, I mean, I can't give you that advice. I, I can't advise you on that legally. Yeah, that's Are they going to let me out? Yeah, there's, uh, yeah there's, there's no problem. There's, there's no reason why they aren't going to set you a bond. I'm charging you with a misdemeanor. What? I don't know. That's up to that's up to the judge. Can you tell him? Um, can you send him my apologies? We'll, we'll make sure. We'll make sure they know. I don't want like I don't want to be charged with anything. Can you okay, send well, my apologies? Well, you you are being charged. I mean, there's no there's no way. There's, you can't yeah. uh, you can't undo that right now. You know, what, what happens down the road with court? That that's to be that'll be decided later. Um, in terms of yeah, what could what could have been an issue with the check with just the mismatched name, because your license, I mean your license still has Brent. I've never had this problem if that, before. If that was it, hold on, hold on, I'm can trying, you listen to what hold, I'm saying? Hold on, let me let me let me tell you first because I'm trying to help you. All right, if that's still your legal name, then you know you got to get that changed. You got to go through the process of that. But can can you listen to what I'm saying? I've, I've cash checks at BBT before with my name, okay. just like that. And she asked me, did I have a second form with my name okay. on it like well, that? Well, for some reason, it didn't work this time. But either way, for, I mean, just for any type of purposes, if, if you want your name to be Bria, you got to legally change it, you know. Because if, if that doesn't match up with your social security number it and your does. driver's license. It's everything, like if you run my social, all that shows up on my social. As Bria? Bria shows up on my social. Okay, well, that, the next thing you got to do is change your license. Like, uh, if you run my, like, all oh, my name, the Bria, Brent, Shake, and all that shows, okay. up, shows well, up on my Lee, I mean, you got to make sure your legal name is the name, is going to be the name that you're going to be using, because that's what, that's what they're going to go by. And you got to get. still not, but it's still not making sense, because she just could have got another second form of ID, of, 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 like she got from me, because she asked me that I have another people, form. People. People she, make up fake IDs. People make up fake fake yeah. checks to defraud them from and things like that. That's why they go through these I steps. I don't, I don't, not saying, I'm, I'm not, not saying I'm not saying that's what you're I doing. Work for my money. I'm not saying that's what you're doing, but that's what ha that's why they have these steps in place, because people do do that. And you know if it doesn't work, though, I don't I don't have no reason to be fraud. Okay, but I'm just saying, that's they have these steps in place, and that's what's causing you to hold. I don't have no HIV. I don't have nothing. I don't have no HIV. No one said anything. Nobody said anything about it. I don't have anything. I'm like, fam, what do you got going on? It's people like that where I genuinely worry about them, where I'm all like, are they under the influence, or are they suffering from something? Because I'm like, fam, that don't make no sense. Who brought up HIV AIDS? Who brought up any of that stuff? I'm just trying to explain. If I'm the cop, I'm like, fam, I'm just trying to explain to you that you're going to have to change your name on your ID so stuff like this won't happen in the future. Who talked about HIV? She had mentioned that earlier. And I'm like, fam, where did they even come from? Uh, no, nah, this this whole interaction is just weird now. No AIDS, no HIV, none of that. Nobody said anything about that's, that. And that's, that's why they're taking me through all this, because I got away, because that was the initial plan. The initial plan was for them to keep injecting me with rat poison, and I was supposed to be gone. That was the oh, initial plan. Oh, no, she <laughs> is crazy. I'm like, what? Why? Why? Who acquires rat poison to inject it into people? Nah, fam. Nope. That is, I don't know what kind of witchcraft that is, but that is scary. And I do not want no parts of that. As me as that cop, I'm walking away. I'm like, nope. Can't be a part of this conversation. I'm sorry, but no, you took my mind in a, in a place where I it, it doesn't even need to be there, and I'm gonna be confused for the rest of the day. So to just for, to not let this conversation go on anymore, I'm walking away. Play it, play it like it was HIV. That was the initial plan, and that's not that's not it didn't happen like that. So they're mad at me because I got away. He doesn't even know how to respond. Well, thank you. He, he is, 
here's all I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> you need to update your license with your legal name, and if it's not, not your legal name, you got to change. You go through the legal process to change your name. Okay. All right. How long is this? How long is this going to take? What, what? What? Us? Us getting on the way, or the process? The whole process. The, of getting your name changed? I'm just saying of me getting out. Okay. Um, we should. We'll, we'll be on the way soon, and it could take take up to a couple a couple hours. Will I be out in time enough to, to before? I don't know. It depends on it depends on how much they got to do do at the jail. Why before? What? What do they got to do? I don't know. That's that's their part. Uh, it depends on how busy they are, how many people they got to book in. I'm gonna get the I'm gonna get the uh, I'm gonna talk to the judge as soon as I'm able. Get the war get the warrant to formally charge you. And the judge sets. That's when the judge will set the bond. And once you go through the process, so you'll be you'll be allowed to bond out. I mean, can you can you tell the judge to like keep it light and not like the give judge, me a break? Well, the judge is gonna make that decision based off of uh, nature of the nature of the offense and and um, and and whatever he sees in your criminal history. I don't have but, no criminal but, history. Yeah, you know, with a misdemeanor, it's probably just gonna be a standard bond. What is that? I don't know. <laughs> that's. I don't know what I don't know the, the I don't know specifics. It's the judge's call. But it could it could be that the jail just has just ask for a, per, a percentage of the bond, or they may even get judge may even give you a signature bond. I don't know. But. You gonna give me a signature bond? They might. I don't know. Can they just let me out so I can be with my mom, please? Like right. I came here to see. No, her. we gotta go through this. I mean, this has already happened, so we got I got a job to do. Why, that's what I'm saying though, like, why did they start this process saying that I was, fr it was fraudulent when I worked for that? They, they Alright fam, I, I'm just, it, it confuses the life out of me when I watch these videos and the cop explains to them, like, the situation and they still ask the same questions. I'm like, fam, there there are at times where I'm all like, I, I'm not trying to sound annoyed, but at the same time, I'm like, I, I really just be wanting to skip through because I'm like, I and it's like, and it's no disrespect, but it's like, fam, if the cop just explained to you what the situation is, why are you asking for like more of the information? I'm like, I and I that's why I'm like, I'm, I genuinely be concerned for people because I'm like, fam, I don't know what you got going on, but it's like the cop done had to explain it to you. You started talking on some other stuff, I don't know what's going on anymore. Like, my, my brain autopilot because they got to protect their money too. People do do fraud them, people do, do and she thinks he's talking projects. about her, you know. But it's not me. I they mean, can, out of all the people, they, like, they you guys watch me every day. I, you guys watch me every okay, me, day. Me, That's uh, what, no, I'm saying. I don't, the I don't world watch. watch me every day. Okay. They know what I do. I don't they know what know you do. They know I go to work every I day. I don't know what you do. They don't know what you do. You know people, everybody none knows of us, me. None of us. Everybody knows me. I'm, I don't know you. <laughs> Sir. I don't know you. I've ne this is our first time meeting Cut each other. Chase. I don't, know, I don't know you. I'm you gotta very keep real. Real. She, she nah, she has to be like a conspiracy theorist where she she thinks like she's under 24 hour surveillance. And it's like, ma'am, maybe that FBI agent on everybody's iPhone, <laughs> maybe. But if that's not the case, nobody knows you. The, I don't know you. I, I have a strange feeling like I'm probably going to get a comment, you know, from her or see her one day. And she was like, you know me, right? And I'm, I'm probably going to forget about this video and be like, I honestly don't, all right? If I did somewhere at some point, okay. But now, I, I'm sorry. I don't even know myself half of the times, all right? So I'm definitely not going to know you. So, yeah, it, that, it's just it, weird. It's just weird, bro. I'm keeping it very real. I don't everybody, know you. Everybody knows me around the world. I don't they know you. They watch me every day. Okay, I don't watch you. I'm, I'm, and I don't know you. This is the first time I I've meeting you. I have a whole TV show. Like, okay. seriously. I've never watched it. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I've Stop. never watched it. Stop Stop. I've never watched it. Right, I've never seen you in any of the TV shows that I watch. Just, just, um, how do I get rid of the wife? Do I just need to get a lawsuit or something like? You're because it's, it's all because I'm like, he's mad because I want to be with him. What? And because I won't say, because I won't say that I have AIDS or HIV, and I don't want to be. With Cop, him. please like, just roll up the window. Why I, well, and this is why Walk he keeps away. harassing me. 
What do what do what would you do? Who keeps harassing you? Dwight. Who's that? Like the guy, this guy that wants me to. I thought she was about to hit him with that Mike Epps joke. For those that have seen the movie All About the Benjamins, because she said Dwight, and I'm like, oh, I know what's, I know what's getting ready to happen. I thought she was about to say Dwight around your, around your lips, and I'm like, it's just watch All About the Benjamins, you'll understand. But anyways, fam. Unless she, I, I don't know, bro. I'm like, I'm trying to think. Because the last time I watched a TV show with the name Dwight in it, it was uh, Fear of the Walking Dead. If that, I, I don't know if this is supposed to be Dwight's uh, wife in Fear of the Walking Dead. It looks very different. And it looked like, you know, she got a little bit of a tan going on. I fam, I, I thought with Fear of the Walking Dead ending, but I'm like, but th again, this this was last year, so I'm like, the this the show hasn't ended just yet. So that's what I'm saying. I'm like, fam, I, I don't I don't know what's going on anymore. My brain, again, like I said, autopilot, no idea what's happening. Be with him. He keeps harassing me because I don't want to be with him. What would you do? I, I don't know what what you're talking about at this point. Because that's not, that's not anybody who's in there. I mean, they, he the one told them to say that my check was fraud. I mean, like seriously, like I work, I work for that check. Okay, and we're not charging you with that, not yet. Ain't that we'll be on our way soon? Yeah, just as the detective emerged from the bank <laughs> with the final determination that the check was indeed fraudulent, the officer relayed this information oh, to the woman. Oh wow. You already made a copy? You already used it, ran it? Yeah. Okay. So, I'm just gonna move here. Sorry, how about that? Thank you for everything. So, she explained to me on how they determine it was fraud. Yeah. So, when they run the check through the system, right? If you are an employee, so like that one was AVP, Hyatt, whatever, then it should have every employee's name. It, no name, that name, her real name, nothing came back. Mm. Um, she said, and the phone numbers that were attached. For that that check, come back disconnected. Mm -hmm. um, they wow. tried to contact the actual company, and nothing. So when they asked her, they was like, they actually tried to give her back the check. Right? It was like, look, we're not normally we would just keep it, but they tried to give her back the check. But they said she was already on ten, ready to fight. So it was like, well, look, who do you work for? If you tell us that, then you know we can contact them. And she refused to give up who she worked for. She refused to give up any information. She was just like, no. Nah. And then that's when she attacked the boy. Okay. So. Yeah, probably was in there yeah, talking that weird stuff right. she was saying yeah. in the car. So let her explain that. I mean, because if they run it through their system and you, your account don't come back right, then yeah. Okay. The numbers don't match. Maybe yeah. Showing disconnected. So. All right. I'm going to scan the um, narratives in for you. Statements. Yeah. I appreciate it. That's six dollars. <laughs> so forgery, third degree, um, and, and simple yeah. battery. Yeah. All right. All right. Thanks. Consequently, she was charged with forgery in the third degree and simple battery provoked before being transported to the DeKalb County Jail. Okay, bad news, I got some more information. So the way they determined the check was fraud is because they ran it through the system. The Hyatt does not have you employed under any name through that registry. They called the numbers listed on the ch on the check. All those numbers are disconnected. Uh, oh, sir, I work at a resort. And they call and they called the resort. They called everybody. You know, they got they got nothing from you. That is a lie. Okay, well that's <laughs> something you have to that's something you're gonna have to show in court, but as of now you are being charged with forgery in the third degree. And how did I get a check like that? And I, how did I get a check like that? And I don't even I don't work in the just, accounting office of nothing. Okay, I'm just telling you what it is. You're being charged with forgery in the third degree and simple battery. Oh my god. Are you serious? I am. So they're gonna they're, they're okay, really trying to say that, that I'm, the check is fraudulent? The check is fraudulent. It's been c confirmed it's fraudulent. I work for that check, sir. I work for that check. Okay. How is it fraudulent? Just done. 
I'm just telling you what it is. We're not going to keep going in circles about it. What, exactly. What? So what I got to do now? Right. Same same process. Court. It's going go to go through the. You're going to go through the booking process once the, once the judge decides what the bond is. You'll be you'll be able to bond out. Oh my God. Oh my God! Like, how is the check fraudulent? Like, and I work. <laughs> you printed off of fakechecks.com. That's how it's fraudulent. Yeah, that woman, she is weird. I don't know what she got going on, but that that was just that was just an all the way just weird interaction, bro. But. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, that was that was a pretty wild video. Make sure if you guys haven't though, go subscribe to Crime Cam now for more videos like this. Like, subscribe to me too, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching and peace.